Curtains fell on the NTV Kajedo 7's tournament in an emphatic fashion at the East Africa University grounds with all the top guns aiming for the prestigious main cup title. The final contest was between Impala and Homeboys who dismissed Harley Queens and Black Blood respectively to seal their place in the much anticipated main cup final. Not even the heavy downpour could reduce the tempo of the mouth-watering final with talismanic Vincent Mose putting Impala ahead with an early try. Yeah. The tournament's most valuable player, Billy Omondi, then extended Impala's lead with a second try before homeboy's Kevin Ocham reduced the deficit to 10-5. Impala managed to hold on to its lead until the final whistle, becoming the first team to win the Kajedo 7's title. <laughs> It was definitely a very tough battle uh, from day one. We just came here to enjoy ourselves. I exposed most of our players. It's, uh, we, we are really a young side and uh, we enjoyed uh, playing here at Kajiado. Harley Queens beat Black Blood by a similar margin to finish third. Thank you very much. What a young squad to see what, what we get uh, to boost us from the ESS campaign and our Kenya Cup campaign. The tournament was very nice. Local favorite Ngong beat Masaku 7-5 to clinch the plate title as Laser Academy stunned the East Africa University 22-0 to secure the ball title. The start of Kajero 7s will promote rugby a long way in, the, in this area, especially. Adras RFC lifted the shield after aging Makweni 32-2 in the final. <laughs> The NTV sponsored rugby tournament was the first ever of its kind to be held in Kajedo County, with stakeholders terming it a major milestone towards rugby development in the region. Focus now shifts to the Modern's World Cup, which kicks off next weekend. Seth Olale, NTV Sport.